Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are doing what the thumbnail says top 5 jutsus I'd love to have in real life from Naruto obviously and now before I do this we have to assess some rules no planet busting jutsus because I don't have any use for them I'm talking about jutsus I could use in everyday life or to defend myself so nothing like planetary devastation or like a Susano or data a C4 explode. No, I don't need any of that. Just simple, somewhat advanced ninjutsus, okay? And for this to work, I'm going to assume everybody in the world has chakra. And I have chakra. But I have master control over my chakra in order to have all five of these jutsus. Simple rules to get. No OP ultimate jutsu shit. No, pl no, uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's, those are basically the rules. No OP jutsus, no ultimate type jutsus, no shit like that. Everybody has chakra. I have good chakra control, basically master chakra control. Just really good. So, uh, yeah. And uh, yin yang, you can just throw that out the window. You can just pick any five you want. So, with those rules out of the way, we are going to get started with this video. So, coming in at number five, we have the fireball jutsu. I don't even want this to set anything on fire. I don't want to set anybody on fire, anything on fire. Just think about how useful this would be. Just usefulness and this would be a whole lot of fun to use. Like I can just imagine myself playing with the fire, just chilling outside, just blowing up fireballs in my face when I'm bored as shit and just cooking cooking some food when everybody needs a fire start. It's like, oh, who's going to start the fire? It's like, I got it right there there's your fire right there and it was just it, this is basically my have fun and mess around jutsu i don't have any purpose for this jutsu other than to just mess around and have fun it's that type of jutsu and that's why it's here on the list at number five mainly because i just play around with it not really use it for anything but that's all we use fireball jutsu for so coming up next on the list is number four the sanzen garasu no jutsu aka the scattering thousand crows technique now this jutsu just falls in line with the fireball jutsu i'm not even going to use it for anything like i'm just going to use it to mess with people when somebody has the nerve to talk shit to me, it's just gonna be like, oh, you think you're gonna do something? I'm just gonna disappear and turn into a thousand crows. And then I'm instantly gonna be out of that situation. While you're sitting there confused with a thousand crows in your face, I'm gonna be at my car, just dipping out of the whole situation. Don't even, it doesn't even have to be for conflict purposes. Like just imagine you're out doing something, getting McDonald's and a whole fight breaks out. And then they're gonna be like, everybody here is a witness and can be asked by the police. And then it's just like, I don't feel like talking to the police. Thousand crows, baby, and then I'm gone. It's just such a fun jutsu to have, and I really love that jutsu. And that's why it's sitting here at number four. So now coming up next at number three is the eight gates. Let's be real. Who doesn't want the eight gates? The eight gates is amazing. Now I know what you're thinking. This isn't like a jutsu, but we have chakra, right? Eight gates is controlled by the chakra in your body and you release those eight gates with chakra. I mean, something along those lines. I don't, I'm not getting into the specifications. If you want specifications, go watch Swakage. He explains pretty much everything. So, yes. You can't tell me when you didn't see the eight gates get unleashed. You were just sitting there like, holy shit, the eight gates is amazing. I need the eight gates right now. You go watch Rock Lee versus Gara. Go watch him after he unleashes the eight gates. Go watch Mike Guy unleash the eight gates on Kisuma. Go watch Mike Guy unleash the eight gates on Madara. Go watch any, any, any eight gates. Go watch anything about the Eight Gates. You, it's awesome. Eight Gates, you're on here. I love you. And coming after the Eight Gates at number two is the Shadow Possession Jutsu. Another Jutsu that I would just use to mess around with people. And I cannot express enough how much I love this Jutsu. Plenty of times, like, uh, uh, just think. Just, just sit back. I'm gonna wait. Five seconds. 
just sit back and think how funny it would be to have Shadow Possession Jutsu. You probably thought of a lot of funny old scenarios, didn't you? Yeah, funny old scenarios. You thought of how many, God, you know, God, I can use that a lot, and I really can. And sometimes it's like, it's just one of those jutsus I'm just gonna bust out. A lot of these jutsus are just to mess around with people. Only number one I'll actually use for legitimate usefulness in my life. Like, these are for everyday purposes. Something I would do every day. I would mess with people with these jutsus every day. And only number one I can actually use seriously and for actual productivity reasons. So basically five through two was just like, eh, let's mess around. Do some useful stuff. Except for eight gates. Eight gates is very useful. But now that y'all know number two is Shadow Possession Jutsu, here comes number one. So rolling in at number one is the Shadow Clone Jutsu. The only Jutsu besides the eight gates that would require any legitimate productivity to get done. This combined with the eight gates can probably make one of the deadliest ninjas in Naruto. But this combined with the eight gates in real life can easily make one of the most productive not even most productive. It can make the most productive human in history. Shadow clones in the eight gates. We're not even going to think about how unfair that would be in terms of an athletic prowess standpoint. That be you'd be a broken man. You could tell twenty of your clones to just be like, "Hey, go lift weights in eight gates mode," and you're instantly like the greatest athlete on the planet. And imagine if you told eight of your clones, hey, go to a library and study these books for hours. You're, you're way smarter. You, 20 clones, go do this for charity. Go help homeless people for charity. You've instantly helped out tons of homeless people. So, Shadow Clone Jutsu, in case y'all don't know, it can speed up the training process. So, like Naruto when he wanted to learn the new jutsu, something that they said would probably take him years to learn, he learned it in about a week. Something that should have taken him years to learn, he learned it in about a week. A little bit longer than a week. Y'all get the point. The rapidness that you could learn and do stuff is off the chain. And it's that unfair. So honestly, this and the eight gates will be used for usefulness. Shadow possession, fireball jutsu, and the thousand crows technique would just be for fun. But overall, these are the five jutsus that I would honestly just love to have in real life. Fireball jutsu, thousand crows technique, shadow possession, the eight gates, and the shadow, not shadow, oh yeah, shadow clone jutsu. Yeah, I don't know why I got so confused. Anyway, y'all get it? Those are the five jutsus I'd love to have in real life. I can only think about how funny and how much better my life would be. I don't need any of those overpowered jutsus, because I'm not out here trying to take over the world or blow up fucking mountains or slash my enemies in half with a Susano. I don't need all that. Just everyday life, those five jutsus will do me just fine. I really only need eight gates and shadow clones, but the other three which is for fun imagine someone talking mess to you it's just like oh yeah shadow possession well now you can't move and you know it's just a whole lot of fun Th these type of videos are fun because my mind can just race with ideas i might do another top five but you know maybe in the future but in the future after this video i'm probably going to make a top five dragon ball z techniques i want in real life and honestly i only really want three so yeah, my, yeah, top three. Top three Dragon Ball techniques I would want in real life. Same rules apply. Everybody has key. I have good control of my key. And no shit like Spirit Bomb or none of that. None of that destroying special move stuff. Y'all get it. I hope y'all have enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe. 
put down five jutsus you'd love to have in real life down in the description below, down in the comment section. I'd love to read them all, like I get comments. But anyway, I hope you all have a excellent, excellent morning, day, evening, night, or whatever. And I will see you all in the next video.